Hello everyone. As you know, I am preparing videos about the air defense systems of the countries of the world. Today I will talk about Germany's air defense systems. During the Cold War years, Germany was the beginning of the European defense. So it was the place where the Third World War would start. For this reason, NATO countries, especially America, provided a large amount of weapons aid to Germany. But things changed a bit when the Cold War ended. After the end of the Cold War, military aid from the United States ceased. The air defense systems of Germany, which currently has the fourth largest economy in the world, may not be what you expect. Germany's military budget is $55 billion annually, but it still has serious shortcomings. I do not understand why Germany, which is very advanced in the military industry, does not develop its air defense systems. Without further ado, let me talk about air defense systems. Let's start with barreled anti-aircraft guns. Germany no longer has obsolete anti-aircraft guns in its inventory. Germany currently has one type of anti-aircraft weapon system in its inventory, the Praying Mantis. Inspired by Sky Shield, this system features guided projectile launch. There are four of these highly technological systems in Germany. There is no other self-propelled or fixed air defense system in Germany. Germany previously had the legendary Jeopard system in its self-propelled air defense systems. It consisted of two 35mm cannons mounted on the hull of the Leopard tank. Most modern air defense systems today are inspired by Jeopard. Germany has decommissioned most of the more than 370 famous Jeopard systems in its inventory. They distributed the remaining 91 Jeopard systems to different countries. Germany has recently started working on a laser-based weapon system due to its lack in this regard. However, the purpose of this system is to destroy next-generation aerial targets such as drones. Although laser systems are the technology of the future, the effect of a 35mm cannon has not yet been achieved. That's why I didn't find it logical for them to withdraw the barreled anti-aircraft systems in the inventory from service. As for low-altitude air defense systems, this part is a little better. The only low-altitude air defense system that Germany is currently actively using is the Stinger. Germany uses both shoulder-launched and platform versions of the Stinger missile. Apart from that, Germany developed the LFKNG missile to replace the Roland missiles. The LFKNG is a very interesting missile that can reach an altitude of 3,000 meters and has a range of 10 kilometers. This dual-featured missile can be used against both air targets and armored targets. Let's talk about medium-altitude air defense systems. Germany, which is one of the few countries in military technology, currently does not have a medium-altitude air defense system. Germany used to use the MIM-23 Hawk system before, but after the end of the Cold War, they decided to withdraw these systems from service instead of renewing or modernizing them. Currently, Germany's medium-altitude and high-altitude air defense systems are met through a single platform. Germany is one of the oldest MIM-104 Patriot users in Europe. The Patriots are also seriously obsolete. Germany wants to change this system as soon as possible. Germany, which wants to have a modern and anti-ballistic air defense system, has been in talks with Europe and America for a long time. They began to develop a joint system with the Lockheed Martin under the Meade program. This high-altitude air defense system, called TLVS, forms the basis of the MEAT system. Its missile, on the other hand, uses the latest version of the Patriot, the POC-3 missile. TLVS was to become Germany's anti-ballistic missile system. It would be used especially against the new generation hypersonic missiles developed by the Russians. It was scheduled to go into mass production in 2023, but in recent months the German government canceled the TLVS program. Instead of this program, it decided to modernize the Patriots in its inventory with Lockheed Martin and use it until 2030. By 2030, Germany's medium and high-altitude air defense system will be modernized Patriots. 
Germany may not have borders with Russia as before and may be located in the middle of Europe, but it is really surprising that such a large country, economically and politically, allocates so little resources to air defense systems. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to be aware of such videos, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Have a nice day.